Hey, what's up? So I'm here to explain what denoise, well, what noise is basically. Noise is something that happens when you are shooting in low light situations. For example, this is light, but you can see here I'm shooting off my computer's camera, so the light is different and stuff like that. Now, if you were, for example, to shoot like in the dark or like move the camera up there, if you were to shoot around there, then you can easily see that the, there would be just distortions everywhere, like color change. So if you look here, if I snap my fingers, then you will see what the denoiser looks like as I'm talking, and when I unsnap it, and you'll see what it looks like without the denoiser. Boom. Now we have the noise on, <laughs> and now we have it off. Wasn't that cool? You can see the difference between there. So, before we get started in today's tutorial, which is using Red Giant's plugin Denoiser 2 and footage, I want to explain to you, for those who do not have Denoiser 2, go ahead and check out the tutorial up here on how to denoise footage or photos using built-in plugins inside Adobe After Effects CC 2015. So, again, just enjoy this tutorial, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button, okay? The subscribe button's here, or down below. So. Go ahead and check out the tutorial, and peace out, guys. Okay, guys, so now we're in com our compositing program, or Adobe After Effects, as we may say. And what we're going to do is type in the noiser here, or just, you know, noise reduction, okay? So make sure your clip is done like this, and you see that there are lots of noise going on and stuff like that. So basically, you want to go into effects and presets and type in denoiser or you can do this go and click on your clip go into effect go down to where it shows red giant denoiser 2 and just click on that now it, if you go here and it shows this where I'm gonna show you where it shows sample frame none needs sample all you have to do is go here so go to the very very end okay if you're doing your whole clip and this is what you do click on the sample okay and the sample will be here. Now, of course, if you have it on half res, it will not work as much. So you should always keep on full res just in case, okay? So let's get to it of denoising our footage. So first of all, let's turn it off. You can see how much has already changed so far. But of course, you know, that's keyframing it and stuff like that. But let's just, you know, up it about 147. Now, the more you make it, so we have it at like 300, it'll blur him out a lot and we don't want that. I mean, if we put it at 300, we honestly don't even need to edit the other stuff, but we don't want it too blurry. So let's keep it at like 140 or so, okay? And let's work on more of these colors on here. So, enhancement. We can edit that either lower for the enhancement, okay? Or bring that up to 100, which will bring out more of the colors. So let's just keep it at 60, okay? Just for now. And then you want to go into your fine tuning, Luma offset. You can either go up to the positive or negative side of the Luma offset, offset, and you'll start to see different color changes between them. So we just honestly want the chroma smoothing to be up just a little bit, and the fine details. Let's put it at five. Now go into your advanced settings and make sure it's on video or phone. It doesn't matter. Show noise detection. So you see here when you put show noise detection that um, it will show the areas, specific areas where there's a lot of noise going on. And that's actually good. Now of course when you turn it off, then the noise won't be on there. And of course, motion estimation. That usually, first of all, actually if we turn this off, usually separate fields is for videos and you know for picture other stuff. But anyways, we don't we can check this one, but let's, again, do the show noise detection. Anyways, so go to detection level, and let's start to edit that. So we want to make that as high as possible so we can see where all the noise is going on. So you can easily see this. Now, this is just really helpful because then you can start to see the areas you specifically need to edit. And of course, the more areas you edit and stuff like that, then it will go away. So let's turn it off. 
And voila, we have our very, very nice, you know, denoised footage. But here's the thing. Now, if you see here, let me first of all go up to here, turned off. His face is very visible, but it's too, too blurry. There is not really any way to fix that. Maybe we could duplicate this denoiser, turn it down to like night to like ten and stuff. But let's just not do that, okay? But this is the finished result of using denoiser, and of course it looks perfect. And if we hit play. Now, of course, this is the preview, sh so it won't show the denoised part. But if you, once you render it and stuff like that, then you'll get the finished product. And of course, like I always do, if I go to composition, add to render queue, always do lossless because you'll have to convert it into an actual video afterwards, but the render time will be much shorter. Now, again, um, if you want to learn how to edit photos, then go ahead and check out the tutorial. Like, edit photos using Denoiser, go ahead and check out the tutorial um, below, or on the screen here, right here, around this area. And please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel.